Hi, I'm Michael and today I can finally show you what I've been working on lately. It's the Blockies Character Studio, a character kit I made in and for Google Blocks. In this video I will cover what it is and how you can use it. First ahead, what is Google Blocks? Blocks is a creative virtual reality software made by Google Daydream. You can do some really fun low poly modeling with it. And if you just thought low what what? Don't worry, you're going to have fun even without the slightest idea about 3D creation. What do you need to use it? A VR ready computer and a VR headset with motion controllers like HTC Vive or Oculus Rift with touch controllers. Last but not least, Google Blocks itself, which you can get for free on Steam or the Oculus Store. After you work through the interactive tutorial that comes with Blocks, you know all the basics you need to know for using my kit. Find the kit on the Blocks website and hit the like button. That way it is easier for you to find it in Blocks itself. Now it's time to put your VR helmet on and start Blocks. There you go to the file menu, point at the little heart tab where you will find the Blockies character studio listed in your likes. Just open it to get started. I recommend not to import it because that will make all the assets just one big group and mess with the grouping of the individual objects. If someone from Daydream is listening, it would be super great to have groups in groups. Here we go, lots of assets ready for you to use and misuse. Head shapes. Lots and lots of head shapes. No, just only four. But lots of hair shapes. Really a lot of hair shapes. Eyes. Plenty of eyes. Eyebrows, noses, glasses. Of course, heads. Lots and lots of heads. Mouths, hands, ties and ears. And if your virtual self is hungry, head over to the right, be my guest, take an avocado. Last but not least, my favorite corner, the toy shelf. Everything in here, even the studio itself, is waiting for you to be used and customized. Let's get started. Use the grab tool, hover over an asset you want to use and copy it by moving your right thumbstick to the left. That way you don't mess with the studio and keep the originals safe in place. But even if you mess things up, don't worry, you're just working on a copy and can open the original anytime again to start fresh. Use the grab hand again and move the right thumbstick up or down to scale an object. Move the thumbstick to the right to mirror the object. As long as you stay in grid mode, everything is aligned. But the fun starts when you disable it to move stuff freely. If you want to use single elements of an object, simply grab it and hit the red group and ungroup button on your right controller. Now you got all objects separated and can pick and mix all details. Let's see if I can make a blocky joker. I'm using the color brush, a lot of grouping and ungrouping, a little bit of erasing and then again a lot of scaling and mirroring. But most of the time I'm just positioning stuff and that's really a lot of fun because it's like VR is made for this. To do kit bashing, to just grab something and position it in 3D space. It just feels supernatural and you don't think about it twice. Hey, let me and the Blocks creators know when you joined the Blockies family and show your Blocky on Twitter or YouTube using the tag Blockies. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in tutorials about how I created some of these assets inside of Blocks. Have a great day and happy creating!